With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a ball of mass M is dropped onto a floor from a height H. The collision is perfectly elastic and the ball rebound to same height and again fall. Find the average force exerted by the ball on the floor during long time interval. So if I talk about the average force, so average force is change in momentum by change in time. So since the mass is constant, so I will write change in mass times change in velocity by change in this, right? So if you see if the ball falls from a height edge, certain height edge, then let's suppose this is the ball and it uh, after traveling through edge height, it reaches here. So initial velocity is zero. So final velocity you can calculate by using the third equation of motion. So we'll write this to g h where h is this height. So u is zero, right? So after uh, traveling h distance, it will have a velocity this, right? So the velocity will be this, okay? So after just bounce back, it will have the same velocity in upward direction v. Right, so I will write the change in velocity is, let's suppose I took the upward direction as positive. So change in velocity, I will take final minus initial velocity and final velocity is plus under root t 2gh and minus uh, initial velocity that is minus root 2gh. So this will be the expression and it is 2 under root of 2gh, right. So this will be the change in velocity. Very simple. So we got the change in velocity, right? Now, if you see time taken, so we are talking about the time taken by the ball to change this much velocity, right? So if we see the ball is dropped from here at t equals to zero and it takes some time to reach here and then it bounces back and reach to the same height. Very simple. So I will write here the time if it is uh, dropped at t equals to zero. So it will reach at uh, some time. Let's suppose I say it uh, t naught. So I will write uh, the time to travel as distance is equals to u t plus half g t square. We took downward direction as positive. So u is zero. So you will get the t naught here as under root. So to change this much velocity, it takes 2 t naught time, right? So the delta t I, I will write is 2 t naught. If you see here, the ball started from here, it bounced back from the floor and it reached to the same height, right? And uh, uh, in this process, it took 2 t naught. t naught to reach from here to ground and t naught to reach from ground to here, to the same height as, right? So this will be the time. Just put the value here. So if you put the value of m, so delta v is this, and to change this will this velocity, the time taken is two t naught. That is two under root two g h. So just put that also here. So two root two will get cancelled out here. If you see. And uh, under root h will also get cancelled. 2 and root 2 and uh, root h will also get cancelled. And you will get mg as the average force. And this will be your answer also. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.